Just outside of downtown Kennesaw, one of the city's newest businesses is taking on one of America's oldest professions. Mark Allen, owner and operator of Lazy Guy Distillery, has been distilling craft whiskey since he opened his doors in February. But the name Lazy Guy might be a bit misleading, considering just how challenging owning and operating a distillery in Georgia can be. They've been doing it since the 18th century. Taking an age-old practice and making it their own, American distillers have been using corn mash, yeast, and charred oak barrels to make America's native spirit almost as long as the country has existed. So one might think such an historically American practice would be a welcome sight to the city of Kittesaw. Yet Georgia laws might beg to differ. Uh, regulation, taxes, um, local municipality, city municipality, state municipality, fire municipality regulations. Uh, I mean, we face certain things that just don't exist, or at least they're new to Georgia. Of all of the southern states that permit selling bourbon, Georgia is the only one that doesn't allow distributors to sell their product directly over the counter. Instead, entrepreneurs like Mark Allen are forced to sell to a distributor, who then turns around and resells his finished bourbon to retailers of which he has no input. For a distillery, even the fire regulations present a unique challenge. The uh, distillery process is obviously a manufacturing type process, and it's a unique manufacturing process to the fire marshals. And so as they look through their codes, their codes are designed for other manufacturing processes, and there's really nothing that fits within the description of what they're doing when they distill the whiskey. In spite of the setbacks, Lazy Guy products like Kennesaw Lightning are slowly finding their way to local stores and restaurants. At the melting pot, it's even found its way into fondue. We can sell lightning cheddar cheese. So we use our basic cheddar cheese um, blend that we use. Um, it's got the cheddar cheese, it's got the garlic, the Worcestershire and the garlic powder, but we're going to be adding the bacon as well as white lining whiskey to that. And how well does Lazy Guy liquor pair with freshly melted cheese? I got to find out for myself. Here you have it. High quality fondue complements the melting pot. Lazy Guy Distillery, I like Kennesaw Lightning. Here we go. Now just dip it in there and just go to town? Yeah. Alright. All right. Can I eat with these or is that considered like, is that a faux pas? Alright. The answer? Not bad at all. That's good stuff. Oh yeah. Though Alan might jokingly tell you otherwise, there's simply nothing lazy about his distillery, his craft, or his bourbon. In spite of the challenges, Lazy Guy Distillery already has several major products available to retailers, with the latest set to be released fittingly on the anniversary of the repeal of Prohibition. For KSU News Now, I'm Steve Watkins.